What's up everybody and welcome to the Georgia Assassin channel. Let me start over. Let me do it again. Take two. I turn my head. What's up everybody and welcome to the Georgia Assassin channel. Today we are going to be fishing in the Etowah River. Doing a little brand fishing. Going to do some limb lines. Just got to catch a big flathead. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> So today, you got me, you got T, and Merlala. We're out here now trying to catch some brim first. Um, we've already got, Tyler's already caught a couple. Got them in her bucket. Got some large minnows. And I was able to buy some um, pretty good size um, dead shad at the bait store. So uh, we're gonna keep fishing, stack it up, and then a little later on, we'll, we'll go back deep into the river. I don't wanna catch a single smart fish. If I do, I'm letting him go. Same way, same way with deer hunting. You know, I don't kill smart deer. I want to kill the dumb deer, get them out of the herd. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. And if you kill all the smart deer, then all the deer will be stupid. Then all the, everybody will be killing them. You gotta leave the smart ones. I can't even go fish for that one fish over there no more. Super pissed about my trolling motor. I'm 130 down the drain. Could spit that on something else. But we'll get it home when we can't go fishing. And we'll work. We'll work on it. For the next time we get to go fishing, which has been over a year. The water's super high right now. Usually it's a lot. Well, I'd say a good three foot, four foot lower than this. Yes. Really surprised we're getting any bites. From brim, yeah. It looks way too deep. <laughs> yeah. You know, on the main drag out there, that's where we were catching the, the hand size brim at though last year. It's like, I think over there will be good. Here, not so much, I don't think. I haven't even got bumped. Back there, I mean, I couldn't even hit the water without them. It's 11 foot right here. 11 foot. Let's see if we got anything going on down here. Might be some catfish in here. I need to start checking some stuff. I mean, there's this 11 foot. The water is 86 degrees. That's why we're not doing trout lines today, team. We're gonna do some pole fishing, change it up. Pole fishing and limb lines. Limb lines just in case. But we're gonna go after them. So you can't catch fish if you're not fishing, man. I know, I know. Just got the work If my trolling motor is working, this would be a lot better. How was the drive? For me? Four. Horrendous. Oh yeah, four. four. Y'all go back roads? Day, back in the first first time I came up to your house? There's no back roads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much interstate. <laughs> For you, there was an I had to take all the back roads up here and it was awful because not a single person was running. It took me almost two hours. Damn. I don't want to complain anymore though. Yeah. It took me an hour and a half and I'm like, I said the first time I came out to your house, it was uh, 45, 45 minutes, like 30 minutes. Buddy fishing. Oh, there you go. You got him? Got him. Pick. Oh, miss mine. That's the that's the spot, Sadiki. We found it. Let's see what we got. Yes, sir. Catching limb line bait. Tyler, Tyler's the brim whisperer. If if uh if y'all don't know that already, you'll know it after you watch this whole video. I mean, the there we go. Okay. He's running with it. He's running with it. Take it. Yeah. Oh. Whenever you see him run with it, Sadiki, or if you see that bobber going into the water, snatch her lips off. It's okay if you pull it so hard the line goes over the boat with the fish on it. Everybody does it, man. <laughs> Everybody does it. 
how you know you really want it. Yeah, that's how you know you're fishing. Here we go. We're gonna be on again. Oh, got him at time. Got him! Limb line bait. And he didn't even get all the worm. Excellent. Keep them fresh, Siddiqui. Keep them fresh. It's like bass fishing, except for more fun, you actually catch decent fish like this. <laughs> now, bass fishing's fun. I can't really talk shit about it much, but. If you're a cat fisherman at heart, then anything that's not a cat fish is bait. I think I've kind of transferred over. Including bass. Oh man, I remember you when you first got here. Oh man. I've been I've got this way more. That's because bass fishing sucks. Well there's no reward. Really. <laughs> no. I mean you can eat them. Well yeah, but public enemy if you Yeah. Public enemy number one. Yeah. How dare you eat a bass? Let them grow. <laughs> People don't say that with, with catfish. Now, if you catch a catfish that's 20, that's 20 pounds, like a big old channel cat, like 20 pounds, you can let his ass stay for the next man. No, yeah, we won't, bro. No, no, keep. You can fry a piece of pine bark and it tastes good. <laughs> All right, got one. Didn't even have the camera on. But y'all see it. Still got my worm. This is going on. Three fish. We're going for three. <laughs> you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready. They're cruising. I can't believe they're still cruising as good as they are, but they are. And those bad boys, there ain't a better bait on the face of this planet. <laughs> for um, cause it's just cause they fight so much. Them are in bullhead. If you fish in like the floody spots, like if there's a area that's normally grass that floods, I've had luck catching them there. I don't think I've ever been caught. Way too early. Not an arc there. Yep, way too early too. I have a really good luck going from the side. I'm missing the ball. 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 But hey, at least there's a breeze going. Because we're moving. We would be moving if we had a trolling motor. Yeah, we, if we had a dang functioning trolling motor, there won't never be no Minn Kuta purchase, Minn Kota purchase by me. You know, Kevin had to replace the brushes on his, because his would overheat. Huh, mine just don't work. Well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to play it. I mean, it is what it is. That's, that's about the way everything goes. Get some under the bone though, get some meat. Yep, and well, I wouldn't even put no weight on him. that way he can skim the top. You can drop him down where he can go under a little bit. But. There you go. Hope he don't pull off. No. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we definitely gotta use our markers. And we just get, let's keep up too with how many we put out. <laughs> that way. And I wouldn't hide the line. I mean, it is, I mean, I wouldn't hide the flag. It is what it is. You know what's crazy? In the state of Georgia, you can legally put out as many of these as you can fathom. Like there's no cutoff. You, you can only do two trout lines, but, you, but, but limb lines, sky's the limit. We can go off that right there, straight ahead to the Sadiqi. The water there is going to be, should be good. I don't know, that limb might break when we come into it. Man, that looks good. All right, so we got 19 limb lines in, I think. No, was it 15? 15. 15 limb lines in, baited with a uh, live brim and some cut gizzard shad. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and fish down here for a couple of hours. The water seems to be cooler down here, actually, where the water's flowing. We're gonna be fishing with, we got some large minnows, some cut gizzard shad. Hope we try to catch us a flathead. So, but it's gonna get dark. You ain't gonna be able to see much. I'll try to wear my light when I can, and uh, hopefully we'll catch something soon. Oh, you got it? Come on. 
All right, so we're coming up on the first line, team. Look at that, we got a tree shaker going. I don't know what it is, but he's trying to get off, ain't he? I'm gonna come in, try to come in easy. You might have to pull out the old. Hold on, let me get this footage here. Yeah, he's a little catfish. He's a good one. Bam, channel cat. Sorry, sorry. Channel cat. Yep. Yeah. Alright, uh. Here, like, give, yeah, give me the light. Get him in. Get him unhooked and rebaited real quick. That'd be. Oh, shit. I need to back up. Back up, too. I'll just hang on to it. Alright, fella. Yeah, just unhook him. You get the needle. You can grab it. He's not hooked that. He's hooked right in the corner. Oh, that's a good one right there. That's no doubt an eater. Pretty good? Yeah, look how close that is under yeah, the water. That's, that's a few inches. Oh, this is the one you're All like, right, oh, All right, we got rebaited. We're going to check a few of these lines. And... That's a decent channel cat. First one in the boat. Yeah. Four pounder. Four pounder right there. Hell yeah. Nice one. Straight to the pot. He's running from him. This is fishing right here, baby. Come on, take him, take him, take him, take him. Sadiqi. If he, if he bends it up and I reel, be ready. Because he, he wouldn't, he's not going to give up on him if he can see him. Come on. Oh, he's fighting too. All right. Just hold it, hold it right here and there and start reeling. Keep your tip up. Keep pressure on him. Keep pressure. Reel, 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 reel. Do not let that line go slack. Reel him, reel him, reel him, reel him, reel him. He's going to fight you. That's a good one. Let him pull drag if he wants to pull drag. Just keep, keep the tip up. Oh, he's gonna fight. There he is. What's the big one? Keep reeling him. Tyler, get hey, that on. Um, flood, flood the light right there for it. Get that net, get Tyler. Just don't keep pressure on him. Keep that tip I up. She just let loose. Let loose? Yeah, let loose entirely. There's nothing. Is he get off? I, don't, I think so. So, Dick, you got a reel, man. Yeah, he's gone. Damn. He's still following, though. No, he has gone. Got her bait. Yeah, Sadiq, you gotta go. I mean, you gotta go. It, the slightest little bit of pressure off of them, they'll get off. Man, that was fun. Some bouncing on this line, team. Which way you wanna come in? This side or the other side, Tyler? Well, now we did put live feet here, so. Yeah, this is probably gonna be your flathead. He's pulling to the bottom. Which way you want to come in on? All right, here we go. There you go. Let me back up. Hold on. I'm gonna back up and come in straight. And I'm gonna try to get some of it on film for, oh, he's fighting hard, man. All right, here we go. We're gonna go in easy. Hopefully they can see it. He's a good one. Woo! Fight him! Fight him! Don't break your poles, Lala. Bit up, oh yeah, that's nice. We'll get a picture of them. That's a, that's, 
That's a big old channel cat, it looks like from here. Cool. Make a couple hefty sandwiches. Yeah, he's he gnawed on pretty good from the, from the spawn. Now, are we able to pull the hook? No, the hook's still on. Do you see that? Yeah. I just dump him out. We'll get the hook out later. He's good. Oh, he's slimy. I can't see shit. You on log patrol up there? Trying to stay. Let him be. Let him be, Lalo. I'm gonna let him be. Well, we finally made it back to the boat ramp. Took a while. A lot of trash in the river. But we got two nice catfish. Out of the deal. That is such a pain in the ass, them. You know, going fishing. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> it does. It was semi cool. For a while but then the work kicks in that's why it's good to have friends with boats mm -hmm. yeah that's why me and lolly don't have boats ain't well, no I reason to. i wouldn't but i had to man i got it in my skin where i wanted to go trout lining so we can chunk them bad boys Wanna chuck? oh yeah straight up chunk them 